Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Poirier? Poirier. I don't know. Leading up to the fight, old fighters engaged in a war of words, with McGregor promising to knock out Poirier once again. Dustin, though, said he had evolved as a fighter and would be looking to avenge his loss. I'm in for a treat tomorrow night, all right? Let's go. My whole career has aligned me for tomorrow night, and I'm here to be victorious and get my hand raised by any means necessary. I'm leaving it all out there. Let's go. The fight was promoted as the main event for UFC 257, which took place on January 23rd of 2021 on Yas Island, Abu Dhabi. The fight itself was an instant classic, with both fighters showing heart and determination. Gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. 90 seconds to go. Ooh. Yep, that's, that's not a lot his of work. game. That's not his game, right? He's not a wrestler. So having the wrestler spin the Nice, nice man. Connor check. Right. Uh, out of Connor, they want an active lead hand. Looked like a debilitating calf kick there. For Dustin was able to weather the early storm from McGregor. From there, Dustin was able to take control of the fight, landing leg kicks and a series of punches that would lead to the TKO in the second round. And many began to question McGregor's future in the UFC. Connor took this, you know, this, this result very professionally over here. He, he's a a pro man and nothing but respect we knew his timing on the counter two was some of the best in the game but i just don't give a fuck man i'm here to win despite the loss mcgregor remained gracious in defeat and bowed to be better than ever fair play to dustin very happy for him very happy that i got to compete in this in these times and and come back my 11th ufc main event and that's it the build-up to the third fight between McGregor and Poirier is nothing short of spectacular. The two fighters would go again at each other on social media and at press events, with this time McGregor taking the trash talking to a whole new level, or some would say lower levels. McGregor at one point even made comments about Dustin's wife. Your wife is your husband. Joe Lee's wife. Joe Lee's wife. Get a little bitch of it here which led to a widespread backlash from UFC fans. Meanwhile, Dustin remained composed and focused. You used to be a lot better than that, man. You know what's up, you know what's up. Like all Conor McGregor fights, the anticipation to this fight was at an all-time high. Fans and experts alike anticipating what would be a epic showdown. The stage was set, and fight fans around the world were ready for what was to come. The fight started out with both fighters throwing hard shots, with McGregor looking sharp and accurate with his striking. However, Poirier weathered the storm and was able to take over the fight. Ultimately, the fight would not go the five rounds, and Dustin would win via TKO after McGregor had injured his leg. The injury was a gruesome one, and McGregor was unable to continue fighting. At the time, he would not know it, but McGregor would ultimately be breaking his leg. The fallout from the fight was intense. Voice is in me, DMs, hey baby! Hit me back on my chat, you let it on! You're looking big, you little hoe! I'm sure you'll be back, and I'm sure you're gonna want Dustin again, and I'm sure he'll oblige you. What was he saying to you directly after the fight? He was saying that, uh, he was still saying he was going to kill me and stuff. Go back and look at the video. The guy sitting on the seat, he was, I, you know. After the loss to Dustin, McGregor would undergo surgery to repair his injury, and he would be transported to the nearby hospital for medical attention, where he underwent a three hour long surgery. McGregor was later discharged and was sent home to recover from the injury. Following his injury and recovery, McGregor announced he would be focusing on his recovery and return to the octagon as soon as he was medically cleared. 